Hello everybody, welcome back. This is going to be our last video in a series on Alaska. Uh, we're going to be covering Denali National Park today. Uh, reasons you might want to go to Denali National Park is it has beautiful mountains, uh, ample wildlife, um, diverse ways that you can see the wildlife. Um, if you're not able to walk for some reason, uh, you can just ride around on a bus and you'll see quite a bit of wildlife that way. If you're able to get out and hike, that's awesome. That's you, you, I would definitely recommend doing that as well. So in the first few miles of the park, there tends to be a lot of moose. This is a forested area. Uh, you can drive the first 15 miles with your private car, or you can ride on a, uh, on a bus. Uh, you don't need the one that's called the wildlife tour. That one's just more expensive, and it drives the same road as the transit bus. So you either drive your private car, walk the roads, uh, or um, take the uh, transit bus, and you're going to see a ton of moose along the roadway, um, especially in those first few miles. There's plenty of lodging around Denali National Park, although you should make reservations in advance. We stayed at Carlo Creek Cabin, uh, which was convenient just a few miles from the park, and they have a bird feeder there that was attracting uh, Canada jays and a back black woodpecker. Riding on the bus, we saw plenty of sheep, and the bus drivers will stop for most wildlife. Um, I did not see any in the part you could drive the first 15 miles of your car to. Um, there are a couple of hillsides. I mean, I guess it's possible they could be up there, but we didn't see any. Uh, we only saw these on the bus tour. Even during daylight hours, I saw a porcupine, so I would imagine driving at night would produce quite a lot of them. Additionally, there's spruce grouse in the area. Here's a spruce grouse that crossed the road in a forested area. Caribou are pretty common in the park. We saw them both on the bus tour, and then this one was just along the side of the road during the first 15 miles. Grizzly bears also appear to be pretty common in the park. Um, looking at trip reports, it seems like some people see a lot more than others, so it may depend somewhat on time of the year. Um, during the, the, I think I was there for about two days, I only saw one, and here's a, a shot of that one. Two of the most heavily traveled trails in the park are found at the Sav Savage River Loop. Um, I think it's because they're well advertised, and you, you can see the trailhead clearly. Um, they're well-marked trails that a lot of people are on, so they may feel more comfortable there. Um, also, uh, you can drive there with your own car, um, or the bus will drop you off there. It's just really obvious where those trails are. Um, for all those reasons, I, I do think they get a lot of traffic. Um, there are a couple of benefits to those trails. One is, is they are beautiful. They have some beautiful scenery there. I'll show you some of the wildflowers that were there when I was there. Um, if you take the Savage Loop Trail, it just kind of goes around in a loop. Uh, I did that. I think um, I didn't really see too much there. Uh, the Alpine Trail, though, seems to be a, a bit better for wildlife. Uh, we did see uh, Arctic ground squirrel there.
The real reason to go on that trail, I believe, though, would be the pika. Uh, that is where I was able to get my looks at pika, and they're just so cute and so cool, and to, to watch them do their different calls and, and eating hay and stuff, and just walking around the, on the rocks um, was just a really cool experience. I really think these are just one of the cutest little animals you could find. But one of the nice things about Denali is you don't have to stay on those heavily trafficked trails. You can get out and walk anywhere. And if I had more time, that's exactly what I would have done. Because I would imagine uh, you'd be able to find a lot of wildlife walking the stream beds and things. And, uh, of course, even if you don't see a lot of wildlife, you could, might catch a view of Denali, which I was able to do on the last day right before we left. Pretty much uncovered. We got one crowd as it moved in. 